If you struggle with doing smile lines, Stephanie's gonna show you a great hack that will get you on the road. I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. So we were filming some content for TikTok recently and Greg did a design that everybody just kind of went nuts for and wanted a little more explanation behind. So we thought we'd jump into it um, with what I would say is arguably possibly the easiest way to do a smile line. So let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to be working on our lovely Sally hand today. So we're going to go ahead and still act like we're pushing back the cuticles just to stay in good habit. Go ahead and grab our electric file running at about four or 5,000 RPMs and prep the natural nail plate, come through, make sure we're removing all of the shine from the natural nail and getting nice and tight up in that cuticle area. All right. I'm going to take my clean manicure brush and get rid of all that dust and debris we just made. And I'm going to grab my Young Nails Protein Bond and apply that from cuticle to free edge. Once for everyone, we'll come back and do it a second time just because we don't want to find out anyone's a problem lifter even though I'd assume Sally's probably not producing much oil. We're just gonna stay in good habit. First, I'm gonna start off by grabbing my Cover Pink acrylic powder and some liquid. I'm gonna pick up a nice, healthy-sized pearl. I'm looking for this to fall about all the way down the nail in a one-bead application. So I have a nice-sized pearl here, and I'm just gonna set that down release it wipe my brush and just kind of walk that towards the cuticle area making sure i'm nice and tight and then allowing gravity to work for me and just kind of let the rest of the product product flow make sure i clean up those sides all right so now as the acrylic is starting to set just like a regular impression or with netting, there's a, there's a little window of time where it's still pliable. So what we're gonna do here is grab one of our clear plastic tips. It has the little well right here. Okay, so kind of like when we're baking cookies and you're using flour around your um, cookie cutters, we're gonna do the same thing with our tip. We're just gonna dip it into the acrylic powder. That way it's not gonna to stick to the wet acrylic as we start to pull away. I'm gonna take and line this up right in the center. Go ahead and cut that and then just pull that down. I know they make some um, tools for this, but if you are just getting started and you happen to have a tip lying around, give it a shot. Then you can just kind of make sure that that's a nice, clean, crisp line right there. Just make sure you have everything out. I'm gonna go back with my acrylic brush and just kind of clean up that line a little bit. Make sure it's nice and tight. Get some out of that corner right here. All right, so again, you can continue using your tip just to kind of clean up any excess that's hanging out. But now I've got a pretty sharp smile line already in place for me where I can butt my white right up against. I'm gonna grab my speed white and I'm just gonna grab a nice, even, small, medium-sized pearl, I would say. Drain that out and push that right up against that ledge we've created. I'm walking that up into the corners. Same thing on the other side. Make sure we get all the way up. Clean up those sides a little. All right. All right, so it looks a little wonky right now, but once we file it into shape, it's gonna be nice and sharp. Now, guys, don't come after me. I would never say that I like any other kind of a smile line better than sculpting. Believe me, that is the my favorite method. Um, yes, you can paint them on. Yes, you can do a cutout. I love a sculpted smile line. I would consider this more of just like a nail hack, just something for you guys to try if smile lines are something you struggle with. 
All right, so once your acrylic has set up, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my electric file with my safety bit course. And I'm working at about 14,000 RPMs in an overhand grip. Go ahead and just start filing that into shape. And we can see the smile line starting to pop through. Again, just a very simple alternative. If you may be getting comfortable with smile lines or just getting started with nails, this is just a nice alternative while you're, of course, practicing your sculpted smile lines. All right. I'm gonna grab my hand file, clean up those edges a little bit. Same thing over here. I'm just blending everything in, getting nice and textured so we're ready for our gel top coat. All right, I'm gonna clean this off with a little bit of swipe. I'm gonna grab my protein bond, apply that from cuticle to free edge. Grab my Young Nails stain resistant top coat. So we're gonna get this in the light for 60 seconds and we'll show you guys the final look.